I am Melissa Skane, and I'm the Vice President of Mission Integration at Mercy Hospital. I am probably known for um, bringing together people to try and solve some complex social situation. I have kind of this drumbeat uh, question around what's it going to take for people to flourish. I've also had the privilege of working really closely on behalf and with vulnerable women and that is uh, life-giving for sure. Just the opportunity to bring together groups to set the stage for women to really find their voice and develop their future uh, is a remarkable part of my journey. The first word that comes to mind to describe Portland is community. You know, when I think about uh, the ability that Portland has to collaborate and collaborate in an effective way, um, it's, it's really a, a critical strength of the community. Um, I think we have uh, uh, inclusive community and one that is continually to learn and evolve, which makes us uh, just a vibrant place to be. You know, when I think about uh, inspiration, it's the people I work with every day. So, you know, be it the, the women in leadership at Mercy Hospital, um, the, you know, working very closely now with New Manor women, um, watching people who have had an incredible journey to get here uh, emerge as leaders and caretakers and nurturers and forces to be reckoned with is so inspirational. Um, so I think, I think I have a lot of people that inspire me every day. Um, and um, certainly the women of Macaulay residents, you know, I watch, I have the opportunity to work with women with generational addiction and, and poverty as part of their story and watching them overcome that, watching them really take control of their life and their family's future is incredibly inspirational. And we watch it over and over again. Um, so I think there's, um, there's a lot of inspirational women in Maine that I think shape the way I think uh, and, the, and certainly my action. So the greatest challenge I see is housing. Um, affordable housing is such an incredibly challenge for you know, housing as part of healthcare. If people are really gonna have optimal health, uh, it's incredibly difficult to do that uh, as an unhoused person. Um, when I work with vulnerable women and their families, if there is not adequate safe housing for them, the ability for them to really emerge and you know, flourish is out of reach. Um, so I, I see that as the biggest challenge uh, for Portland. The biggest changes I'd like to see in Portland would be to ensure that there are healthy relationships uh, between organizations, those, tr those authentic collaborative relationships bring forth the best outcomes. So if you have leaders that come together um, and can really foster significant trust, create, create space uh, to co-create, um, amazing things can happen. I love food, I love to cook. Um, and I love to create beautiful things with food. So I'm, you know, very focused on, you know, how the table is set and, you know, it, it's all about beauty. Food and my relationship is rooted in beauty. So for me, it's, uh, I want to make sure that the food that is put before me not only is appealing, but it also, because I like to cook, I want it to be better than anything I can produce. So I would say, you know, a tried and true restaurant that always makes me feel like I have just had my best meal is Street & Company. Every time I go there, I will a week later go really be reflecting on a meal I just had. That's what I try and create when I'm cooking. So that's what I love is to go there and be wowed every time. I think the beauty of Maine is, you know, I can drive 20 minutes from my house and be at the ocean. Uh, I love to boat. I, you know, have uh, a home on Fry Island. So the ability to be out in the middle of Sebago Lake, um, you know, in a kayak or, 
in my boat and just there's nothing more relaxing for me. It really is. Um, there is something about the water that just really helps ground me and center me that I will always uh, do my best to remain close to it. A piece of advice I would give women who are new, uh, new leaders or who are interested in exploring leadership would be to make sure that you ask for what you need. Um, there are times um, when I will watch incredibly skilled women, bright women, uh, who have just untold potential wait for an opportunity to emerge versus asking for it or going to create it or you know really setting expectations that uh, an opportunity uh, is theirs to own. So I think it's important uh, as nurturers and caregivers, which I also feel is a critical strength of leadership, um, that you also be clear about what you need and then set the stage to get it.